Hello guys, welcome back to the next installment of Every Troop versus a Prototype. Now I have three tier three prototypes, laser beam style. We did the hot pots, we did the doom cannons, we did the shock blasters, so now is the time for the laser beam. Hot pot was cool, but laser beam is gonna be even cooler. That's probably not true. Hot pots were not cool. Hot pots were actually pretty hot because they, they pump out a lot of fire. Anyway, we're going to be seeing which troop loses the most unit points. Unit points is the number of units that died multiplied by the unit size. And that's how we see it. So we just drop our troops, flare to the headquarters. Riflemen are going to hurt because they have such low HP. I do have a couple of tribe, but no, I don't have any tribe boost going on this account. Not expecting much. Laser beam placement for riflemen is not the best. It would have been better if my laser beams were up here, but I'm not gonna be modifying it. I'm just placing the laser beams around the headquarters to see which troop loses the most. So riflemen lost 70 unit points. That's basically how it works. Riflemen is very easy to calculate. It's just the number of units that have died. And now we're gonna be trying heavies. I'm not expecting any losses from heavies. The most, you know, it might be a little bit, it might be a boring video for some of you guys, but I think Zookas is going to be the worst. I don't even know if Zookas will be able to complete it. And remember, guys, we do not drop our hero. We just drop our troops and flare them to the headquarters. Now, I also want you to tell me below which prototype you want me to do next. We can do the grappler hook, which would be a little weird. Uh, we could do the shield generator. Whoops. My... <laughs> My shock launchers are in range. I'm going to have to change it. My heavies just curl around the headquarters and just take it out. So we have the grappler hook, the shield generator, and I feel like I'm missing another prototype. And I don't know. I don't think I am. So we can do one of those. And then after that, I'm going to start going on to defenses. So boom cannons, sniper towers. Uh, 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 that should be interesting. So uh, shield. Oh, damage amplifier. I might have to pick a defense to go along with the damage amplifier. I don't know if the damage amplifier stacks, and if it does, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, guys, my camera card got filled up, so I had to empty it, but we are on to all Zookas. Now, this combination is probably going to be the worst against laser beams. I'm expecting this one to die. We'll drop our flare to the headquarters. They may have grouped up a little bit, but you know what? I, I think we'll be able to defeat it, but I think it would, it, it's also going to be close. It would be worse if the Zookas were in a clump because then a laser beam would just destroy them all. But each laser beam, it looks like it one shots. Is it one shot? I don't know. I have a feeling it one shots the Zookas, but you see Zookas here that are wounded, so maybe it's a two shot. But you'll see some that are instantly fried. So I think if it's in the way and the laser beam can do like double damage on some Zookas because that's how laser works. Maybe, maybe, maybe it can hit the same target multiple times. So next is Warriors. This is going to be a weird combination because the Warriors are a melee troop. So they're going to get onto headquarters or the HQ and just sit there and heal themselves up. So I'm not expecting any losses. Uh, oh, we did. We just did. We lost a few, which is better than heavies. But overall, guys, I think Zookas and Riflemen are the worst against the laser beams. Like, if there's a laser beam and a damage amplifier on a player base, I'll usually try to shock it because it does deal damage against warriors, especially if it's on a corner, so it can deal uh, even more damage to your warriors because it hits multiple warriors. And if it's a damage amplifier, oops, oops, oops. If it's a damage amplifier, it just deals insane, insane amount of damage, uh, especially without my HP boost, which I don't have, by the way, on this account. I do not have any HP buffs. Okay, guys, I have all tanks trained up. This one is going to be weird. I don't know how well this is going to go. We're going to flare to the headquarters. We're going to wait for them to get grouped up a little bit. Kind of give it a little more fun because laser beams do more damage when troops are grouped up because it does splash damage. It would have been cool to get all my troops in a clump first and then flare, but I don't... <laughs> Look at that. Laser beams do nothing against tanks. I do have a shock launchers up here that keep hitting my my troops, but so far it hasn't made a difference. Wow, I got I got destroyed. Okay, guys, we have all medics drained up. Guys, this is the combination that's not going to work. So the way we do all medics is we don't just drop them. We actually use our hero to take damage, deal some damage, and we use our medics to heal up the hero. So I don't know how well this is going to go. The medics are probably not gonna heal up the hero. 
They're gonna heal up themselves first and then target to hero. Medics are in a clump, which is not good, but so far our hero is still alive. And it looks like we're gonna hit a stale point here and actually destroy the base, which is gonna be cool. Uh, if our hero can deal 180,000 damage, is that HQ 22? Um, so a medic's trying to go to work. They always heal up themselves. It looks like one laser beam is not even hitting. One laser beam is not even hitting my hero. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to shock all of the laser beams. I know it might be a little against the rules, but I don't want to wait three minutes. And we're going to let them all fire at once to see if we can kill off our hero. And they're all going to target uh, Sergeant Brick now at the same time and just deal damage. It looks like they're not off firing at once, which is weird. I thought they did. Um, I, I didn't. What? Okay, maybe, I, I don't know why. Tell me below why they're not off firing at once after I did that. What if I drop a smoke here? And we'll wait for the smoke to go off, and then we'll see if they all fire at once. I, I don't know why, but maybe if we get a little closer, I don't want to spend a flare, but it's just so weird watching this, guys. I want to get them all firing at once. Okay, that time, they pretty much did, but the medics have too much power. They can just... This, they can just heal up their own <laughs> as soon as we start see the problem is guys as soon as we start losing medics Then more medics are going to die because there's not as much medic po healing power So we're gonna kill off a few. I know this is against the rules guys, but honestly I just want to see how we can uh, do this. We're gonna I, I want to see how much medics we can kill before we start actually killing off our hero so Okay, so we need like a tiny, oh, 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 this might be it, guys. As soon as the hero dies, and if I activate the hero ability, uh, okay, so some medics are not in the way, so I can't move medics, I forgot. Our brick moved. We'll flare brick over here to get medics into the pile. A couple of the medics will come, and just, yeah, I, I don't know how to kill off medics. How can I, I wish you could flare medics around. <laughs> What if we get up here? We'll, we'll flare them to the boom cannons. That will, that will kill Brick off. Look at Brick go. Look at Brick go, guys. And trying to take down the laser beams. We'll activate the ability because we can. Uh, we'll flare to that laser beam. She does retarget, which is weird because sometimes she doesn't. Or is she? Is she still firing? Yeah, her, 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 she's messed up, guys. There's glitches everywhere. I'm gonna retreat, guys. Medics, medics pass the test, guys. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna put the unit size up because I was doing some crazy stuff with medics. But unlike the hot pots, laser beams can't kill off medics, which is obvious. Okay, guys, this is gonna be a weird little combination. I don't know how well grenadiers are going to to go against the laser beams because. Grenadiers, they can't heal up themselves, they don't have a lot of HP, but they can destroy the laser beams because their nades go past and it's like splash damage everywhere. So it, the main goal is to destroy the laser beams first with the firepower of the grenades and then hit the HQ. And it looks like we'll be fine here. The laser beams did take out a few, but in the end, as soon as all the laser beams go down, we will be able to do it. So uh, I think if the Grenadiers could not take down the laser beams. Like, it's impossible for them to break the laser beams. I think we would have been able to beat, uh, or to, the laser beams would be able to have a chance and defeat my, my troops here. So, I guess Grenadier's biggest feature, the, the thing that makes them win bases is their splash damage that goes behind. And that's how you use Grenadiers for mind clearing and stuff like that. And it's pretty cool watching. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but... Uh, as soon as the backup defenses are gone, Grenadiers can easily just snipe on something. So, they don't deal too much damage once they are sniping on a defense or a structure. But, you know what? It's fine. I, I, I have time. It's a four-minute battle, so we'll, we'll be fine here. We'll just drop some energy here to speed it up a little bit. That not, not, didn't help too much. We'll do that double artillery tap. I love doing the double artillery tap on Imitation Game. It just It's so much fun, guys. Okay. We're done with Grenadiers. I believe the Scorchers are next, and I'm not going to forget. I'm not going to forget uh, my my Critters this time. So, in the past, uh, the first time, it's kind of weird. I never had a full episode. So, the first time I did this video, I did it against Doom Cannons, and I did troop combinations, not every troop. So, I did, like, Hookah versus Doom Cannon, because it was more, it was more concept and tutorial. 
and now we're just we're just trying to have a little fun here this is not going to go over well for the laser beams the second time I did the video, I forgot the Scorchers versus the Shock Blasters. The third time, I just didn't do, I didn't forget, but I just didn't do Critters. There's not much to commentate here, guys. Scorchers are just going to wreck the headquarters. And, uh, and then, yeah, that was the Hot Pot. I forgot Critters. And now, we'll try to not forget any of them. And I'm not, I'm not going to do the Heroes, guys. I'm not going to do, oh, Sergeant Brick versus three Laser Beams. Of course, Sergeant Brick is going to die. Um, okay, so it's the first video I'm actually going to complete to the full extent here. So, uh, after Scorchers, we have Cryoneers. Now, this combination is going to look awesome because Cryoneers also deal damage behind the building they are targeting um, with their ice beams. Laser, no, not laser. They're laser ice beams. And it, it's like a mini laser beam, but it's an ice beam. So, it's going to be pretty cool to watch. And I'm, I'm, I'm pumped, guys. We'll see which one wins here. So we'll drop our troops. We'll flare to the headquarters so they don't get clumped up too much. I keep saying this, but they look like Squirtles uh, from Pokemon Go or Pokemon. Anyway, enough about... I don't play Pokemon Go anyway, guys. <laughs> um, hopefully, we don't get a, a cross... Oh, oh, shock launchers. Okay, so this one might actually make a difference. So I'm going to destroy them. Hopefully it won't make too big too much of a difference at the beginning. And I don't know if those are in range. I don't I don't believe they are, but we're gonna destroy them also. It did take a little HP away from the headquarters, which is fine. Uh, but now you'll see that my 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 cryoneers will start running around. And I don't know why. Like as soon as your flare runs out, they'll kind of retarget, which is weird. I don't know if that's a glitch because normally if you flare to a building and the flare runs out. Even Scorchers will keep targeting that building until the building's destroyed. Okay, so we're gonna shock. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference, guys. One one Cryoneo dying is not gonna make a difference. But this is the type of combination that we'd love to see. And it doesn't even look like the laser beams are firing. The laser beams are just getting frozen. And if they are firing, they're firing like once every 20 seconds. We just saw one go off. But I haven't seen this one fire in the longest time. So it's pretty much a time battle now. We did lose a few. It just went off. That one went off. Um, okay, so we we destroyed one more. And we have one more left. And it looks like my crown ears are like forgetting what they're doing here. So we'll flare back to the headquarters. We'll get them all grouped up again. And now it's just a time battle. So I'm going to put on some music and see if they can take down the headquarters. doesn't look like they were able to do it guys i'm sorry about being zoomed in for the uh, time lapse but it doesn't look like they were able to do it one thing to note is after the laser beam or the ice sorry the ice beam hits a defense and it keeps going past the defense anything that goes past it will actually freeze your own troops so my cryoneers were freezing themselves and not helping themselves at all but now guys now we have the Critters. Now, Critters is going to be weird because they're not going to win. I'm guaranteeing you that. Some of them are going to... I'm, I'm going to drop them all onto headquarters. But some will turn around and start targeting the laser beams. So let's do this. We dropped... What was it? Six or seven? Six or seven boxes. All these people are like, no, let us back into the headquarters. We don't want to die out here by the laser beams. And we might... Yeah, it doesn't look like we'll be able to do it. Because the way my... My laser beams are set up. They're actually dealing a, a big amount of damage. Like, watch this one laser beam on the corner, the right corner. It's going to fire, and it... Okay, it didn't do too much. But if, they, if it was on the edge and it fires, that's when warrior attacks are actually pretty deadly. But all my critters got destroyed. Critters definitely did the worst. The worst. Um, and we can't... Okay, we're going to retreat. We can't calculate the unit size of critters but that's going to be it for the video guys let me know what defense you want next you want shield generators do you want i don't know how that would work i'd have to think up something cool for that a cool little concept do you want shield generators or grappler hooks and or damage amplifiers and for damage amplifiers i would choose a defense uh, that would be damage amplified. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe like mortars because it deals splash, but it also deal, deals fairly high amounts of damage. So anyway, let me know down below, guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys subscribe to Cosmic Duo. I'll see you guys next time.